Hey guys, it's Wendy. Welcome back to another video. So it's officially been four months in quarantine, approaching five, which is absolutely wild to me. I live in California, specifically San Francisco. So we still have a lot of restrictions in place that I have been taking very, very seriously. Today, I just want to share with you some of my quarantine favorites, things that have been really helping me get through quarantine. I have a whole array of stuff ranging from home, tech, beauty, fashion, and wellness. I'll try to link everything that I mentioned in this video down below so you can check those items out. I know quarantine has been really difficult for everyone out there. Personally, I've had a lot of ups and downs, so I figured I would just share some of the things that have been really helping me get through. So I'm first gonna start out with home and tech items. So the first thing I want to talk about is my desk. I have been working from home since March, and I will be working from home for the foreseeable future, at least until 2020. So it was imperative to me to build a workspace that was functional and comfortable and it didn't feel out of place in my room or apartment. So I decided to get this pretty affordable desk from Target. I've just been really loving my entire desk setup. I actually filmed the video going way more in depth into my desk setup. If you wanna check it out, I can link it down below. So my next favorite is actually quite new. I recently got it, but I can already tell this is a game changer for me and is just gonna drastically improve the way I do things from here on out. And that is my iPad Air. I actually filmed a very in-depth unboxing and my initial thoughts video that will be coming later on. I've already started using this iPad for things like note-taking, planning this video, studying for the GMAT, which I am starting to study for. I think during this time too, it feels like you are losing control of the world and your life. So having something like this that kind of allows you to take control even if it's in a small area i think just really helps lessen your anxiety you can see here i used notability to plan out this video and another thing that i've been doing on my ipad that's really i think helped so so much with my anxiety is actually drawing i spent a couple hours yesterday just doing a couple of doodles and i just found it so relaxing so here's an example i drew this cute little bow. It's really helped to pass time in quarantine and it's a really great stress reliever for me. My next quarantine favorite is my V60. I featured this in a couple of vlogs already. I've been using this to make my morning coffee. What I was doing the first two months of quarantine to get my coffee fixed was I was literally just buying cold brew from the supermarket, which obviously isn't super cost efficient. So my friend suggested looking into a V60 and V60s are actually what a lot of baristas will use to make coffee in a traditional coffee shop. From what I've heard in my research the v60 creates better quality coffee because it does take a little bit longer time and you're being really careful with your pouring technique it takes like three minutes to make the coffee i've been really liking the way that my coffee has tasted so my next favorite is this bed tray slash desk so it has these two legs that just fold out like this it's great for those days in which maybe you're not feeling super great and you just want to work in a really comfy area. What comfier area is there than your bed? It's actually super durable. It can hold a lot of items. I will put my laptop on here, a notebook, sometimes my mouse and my iPhone, and it all fits. And it was $20 on Amazon, so super affordable. Okay, so my next favorite are plants. So here's an example. This is a Monstera that I got from a San Diego shop called Pigment. I'm somebody that prior to quarantine wasn't home that often, so I never had really invested that much into my actual space. But since my home is now my office, that has quickly changed. And I just love having plants around because they really do just brighten your room and give your room a more lively feel. In addition to that, it actually feels really great to also take care of something. Weirdly enough, I saw this funny meme and it was saying how millennials love plants because it fulfills their need and desire to want to love something and take care of something. And honestly, I feel like that's kind of true. I really like the routine of watering my plants. I also think that seeing something develop during this time can be really exciting because there's not that much else going on in your own personal life. So every time I see a new leaf or a new growth, I get very, very excited and it makes my day. Last home slash check favorite is these blue light blocking glasses. They're from Privé Rivaux. I think that's how you pronounce 
that brand. I'm definitely on my computer a lot more than I ever was prior to quarantine because I just don't take as many breaks and staring at a screen can really strain your eyes and give you bad headaches. And I have found that these have really helped. And they're also just super fashionable as well. I love just wearing these even if I'm not staring at a screen because I really like how they look. I just have the clear frames. They're really comfortable. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to beauty slash lifestyle. Since in quarantine, I have been taking it very, very easy with my clothing and my fashion sense. Oftentimes I will just jump onto a meeting with a sweatshirt on and I found a really, really easy, simple way to dress up any outfit and automatically make it look more work appropriate is to just wear a high quality jewelry piece. So the pieces I wanna talk about today are from Ana Luisa. They actually sent these pieces to me but I had already had my eye on this brand for a really, really long time because I just absolutely loved the design and affordability of their pieces. I also really love Ana Luisa's dedication to sustainability. I think especially recently, many of us have been thinking a lot more about our purchasing power and what businesses we are putting our money to. Their jewelry is made with 100% recycled gold and sterling silver. They also have a goal to go carbon neutral by the end of 2020. As I mentioned, their pieces are also really affordable because they do fair pricing. So while other jewelry brands will include a luxury markup in the price. Ana Luisa does not do that, so their pieces start at $49, which I think is such a great price considering how high quality the pieces are. So I've actually been wearing all of the pieces that I picked out in this video. I picked out first the mini Naomi pearl necklace. I adore this necklace. I've already worn it so many times. I just think it is so, so dainty and really helps to just dress up any outfit. I love wearing this necklace just with a simple t-shirt and it really automatically just elevates the look. I also got the Anna gold necklace, which is just a really dainty chain necklace. Again, absolutely love this piece. I've worn it so many times and you can also wear the two necklaces together like I'm doing in the video. Last but not least, I got the Chloe ring in a size seven, which is a little bit too big for me. I've actually determined since that my true ring size for my pointer and middle finger is around a six. Ring have been something I've been so so into just all of a sudden I've had such an obsession with rings and just high quality gold jewelry in quarantine for me it's just been really easy to feel bleh about yourself and anytime I want to feel a little bit more glamorous I will just throw on some jewelry I'll throw on a bunch of rings and when I see the rings kind of glistening in the sunlight while I type and while I work it kind of just puts me in a better mood. This ring is super unique. It is so, so shiny and it has this really beautiful rope detailing. They actually gave me a coupon code for 10% off. So if you use the Wendy 10, you can get 10% off your next order. So for my beauty favorites, I only have a couple. I haven't been wearing makeup basically at all in quarantine, only for certain occasions. So as a result, I've been using a lot more gentle skincare products on my face and a cleanser I've been really liking is from Glossier. This is a very, very popular cleanser. I really enjoy it because it is just so gentle and simple and very comfortable on the face. After I use it, I don't feel like my face is stripped of all its oils. It still feels moisturized and it does a decent job of removing light makeup. If you're wearing more heavy makeup, I don't think that this is enough. Another fun beauty favorite I have been loving are these face mists. I never really used face mists prior to grabbing these. I would use setting sprays and that was kind of it, but I was really intrigued by this one by Glow Recipe. This is the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist because I love anything that is fruit scented and I also figured for the summer, it'd be really, really refreshing to have this. I will literally just spray this on for fun if I need a little bit of pick me up. You can also just use this to replace your toner. I will spray it on in the morning before I put on my makeup. A theme that is running in this video is the fact that since we're all stuck at home, for me, it's been really important to find those little things that bring you joy. And something that really brings me joy is spraying this on. A really great dupe for this that is currently out is from Trader Joe's actually. This is the watermelon facial mist. It definitely doesn't feel, in my opinion, as luxurious as this one. This one is $28 and this one was $4, but it's the same idea. This one smells like real watermelons and this one smells more like watermelon candy. They also differ a little bit in the ingredients and they both have fragrance. So if you have sensitive skin, I would definitely look into the ingredients. But for me, I don't. And I just really 
love the feeling of a fun smelling mist on my face. My last beauty favorite, again, is just something that helps me feel luxurious and something I look forward to applying every single day. And it is a body lotion. This is from the brand Hemp's. It has pure herbal extract and it's in the scent Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon. This smells just incredible. If you love tropical fruity scents, I highly recommend checking this out. It comes in this large bottle, I believe for $10. I grabbed this off of Amazon and it's just a really light but also moisturizing lotion. I also want to shout out a black and female owned body butter brand that I actually purchased from for my roommate's birthday and she absolutely loved the product. It's called Coarse Care. So like I mentioned, not only are they black and female owned, but their products are also vegan, cruelty-free, organic, and have zero waste packaging, which I think is absolutely awesome. So now I'm gonna move on to more fun or random favorites. The first being banana bread, which I know has been a very common favorite in quarantine, particularly this recipe that I found from Anna Olson. She's a pastry chef and I've made her recipe multiple times at this point and every single time it's been such a hit it just makes the most delicious most moist banana bread i've ever tasted and it's super easy to make so i'll link the recipe down below so you can check it out i've also been loving braising food now if you don't know what braising food is it's basically just putting some sort of food in some sort of pot and letting it simmer for a long period of time so i showed myself braising some pork belly in a previous vlog and i just put pork belly in a pot with soy sauce, cooking wine, sugar, ginger, garlic, green onions, and I let it simmer for like an hour and it just made the pork belly so tender and flavorful. I've also done this with potatoes, ground beef, and green beans since. Not only is braising so incredibly easy because you just throw everything in a pot and wait, but it also makes the food incredibly flavorful and you can make a lot of food at once, so you end up having a lot of leftovers. Okay, a couple other favorites that I'm going to quickly go through because I feel like this video is getting really long. The first is Jackbox Games. They're basically these multiplayer games that you can play virtually with friends. The games do cost money, but they come in packs and I think it's worth it because they're just so much fun to do a game night with your friends. Some of my favorite games include Push the Button, which is kind of a mix of Mafia and Spyfall. And also there's this really fun doodle game where you have to guess what everyone drew, but then you try to do a weird random guess to throw people off. I'm blanking on the name, but I really like that one as well. I've also been really into crosswords. I do get the New York Times daily email. And within that email, they have the mini puzzles. So I do those every single morning. I also found this website in which you can send a link to your friends and you guys can both work on the same crossword at the same time. So that's been really fun to do in quarantine as well. If you wanna catch up with a friend, but also do an activity, crosswords are a really great option. My last favorite, I want to end the video with this, has been just going on long walks and calling people. So there was a period of time in quarantine in which I did not step foot outside. I thought for a while that I was the type of person who was totally fine being stuck inside and stuck in my room. I have some friends who have such a strong need and desire to go outside. Otherwise, they don't feel good. And I thought for a while that I was somebody who didn't need that. And then I realized that just because I don't have a strong desire to do something doesn't mean I don't need it, right? So the time period in which I wasn't going outside and I wasn't moving around, I did not feel good. My mental health was not good. And as soon as I started almost kind of forcing myself to be active and go outside, I started feeling automatically better. So it just goes to show that self-care comes in many forms and it's not always glamorous. Self-care doesn't always involve something like a spa day or putting on a face mask. It's sometimes doing things that you don't initially want to do, such as exercising or going outside when you're feeling tired. Like I mentioned, what I like to do is call someone while I walk because then you are basically doing two things at once. And when I call someone, I definitely lose track of time. So I end up walking a lot more and I cannot stress how much better getting fresh air and moving around makes you feel, especially if you feel like you are in a slump or in a not great mood. Sometimes what I need is just to break a sweat and to call someone I love 
and to see greenery around me. Okay guys, so that is going to be it for my quarantine favorites. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I know it's been a really tough time, so I hope you're taking care of yourself and that you are staying safe. And with that, I'll see you next time. Bye.